A live look right now at the Sedalia bus barn, which took a direct hit from a tornado today. Tonight, the district is still surveying the damage to determine if any of the buses can be salvaged. We're told all Sedalia schools have basements where students took cover when the storm hit. A yeah, brand new high school there, undamaged. We understand touched, that is good said, news. Yeah. Well, now for the latest in Joplin, where search and rescue efforts continue there today. And for the first time, we're getting an inside look at a Joplin hospital that was hit by the deadly tornado. In fact, five people died at that location. Chris Hernandez spoke with a nurse about the chilling night. He joins us live with the story. Well, for two days now, our satellite truck has been parked right next to this white pickup. It's across the street from the hospital that was destroyed. But this story is not so much about the truck. It's about the woman who was driving it. She's a nurse who was on duty, and she tells us how she worked frantically to keep patients alive and safe as that tornado ravaged Joplin. Her truck landed across the street from the hospital. Her truck landed across the street from the hospital. It's destroyed, but that's the least of her worries. Ashley Miller is a nurse who was on duty when the twister slammed into the building. And it was completely black and debris was flying by. Miller works in a respiratory unit with some patients on ventilators. We stood over our patients and bagged them with oxygen. These are the first pictures from inside the hospital. The CEO says it looks like a bomb went off on every floor. Well, I haven't gone a day without crying. This nurse describes those frantic moments working in the debris. It had blown a hole through two walls, so we crawled in through holes to get to them, and it was just, I can't describe it. I, I, it's like, so it was worse than what you see in movies. She was on the seventh floor where the staff stayed with no thought of trying to go to a basement. We can't abandon our patients. Of everything, that's the one thing that we, you could never do, and it never occurred to any of us. Her truck had been parked up close to the hospital. The twister threw it dozens of yards away. We are now told that 183 patients were inside the hospital when that storm hit, plus an unknown number of visitors and staff members and employees. And again, hospital officials tonight confirming that five patients were killed inside that hospital when the storm hit. Reporting live in Joplin, I'm Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News.